So in a previous video, we talked a little bit about marketing defined as satisfying uh, consumer needs. And so I think it's worth sort of spending just a minute to think about satisfaction. Because when we're, when we're in business of any kind, we're always managing to some sort of outcome. Right? Something we might call a key performance indicator or KPI. So it makes sense in marketing that we manage towards customer satisfaction. Indeed, for I would say when the for a good you know several decades there, after the marketing orientation for came into sort of full force, companies were pretty much focused on managing towards satisfaction. And satisfaction is really at its essence the the difference between what your expectations are and your experience with a particular product. And so the, the difference, the extent to which those differ determine your satisfaction or dissatisfaction. We also have a few other um, potential outcomes like delight. So if we have surprise that happens, satisfaction coupled with surprise and positive affect, we get delight. That's another thing we could think about managing towards. But more recently, uh, businesses have said, well, you know, the thing about managing to satisfaction, because even very satisfied customers end up switching. So you may have satisfied customers and 75% uh, of them switch because, well, there's lots of other things to try out there. And why not switch if, uh, you know, you can get something that's high quality and maybe might even be a little bit better. So what uh, organizations really started managing towards was loyalty. And uh, loyalty is the idea that, true loyalty is the idea that even if there's some obstacle that prevents them from, you know, sort of gets in the way of purchasing your product, that the, your consumer will overcome that. So it's called action loyalty. There's a number of different varieties of loyalty that we'll talk about. But in particular, that one is, you know, this idea of true action loyalty, that I will overcome some kind of obstacle. And kind of starting in the you know, I would say mid-1990s, firms sort of switched from focusing on satisfaction to try to focusing on managing towards loyalty or lifetime value of a particular customer. So lifetime value is how much money the consumer is going to spend with you over the course of their life with your company. And so really that's sort of become uh, more important as a, a KPI that, that um, organizations manage towards today. Additionally... As, as we've sort of started to evolve towards thinking, you know, broader and more broadly in terms of stakeholders, we also try to think about managing towards outcomes to stakeholders other than customers, such as people in the community, underserved communities, and the planet in general, which is always a good thing.